and welcome to Shit, which is actually a show called... Give it a second. The Internet Hangout Show, with this fucking weirdo. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, two and three. I am Saban B. Weatherman, Hermione is horny, and the human incarnation of Matt from with Nintendo Wii. Today on the show, we're going to give you an almost Christmas special. I love on our hats. My hair is a mess, and I will most certainly not be having a party. That'll be for next week. What? So what's first upon the little QEQ? I've been on an expedition for the last, last two weeks for my sanity. And something more important came about. So, this is my cute little spot where I try to find incredible nature and stuff like that. I've been trying to find Derby County's financial stability for the past few weeks, but all I've really ended up seeing is a... Scouse Ogre, I think. I mean, he's been out with Nana with Granny, so it's hard to I tell his accent, but he's not harming anyone. From the front, that is, anyway. <coughs> Sad that expedition lasted a little longer than I care to admit. Next thing is everyone's current favourite character, because he's the only current, right, every week character, the Weatherman. Take it away, mate. Thank you, Virgin Mary. Today is actually quite cold. More colder than the time I lost a bet to a homeless guy and had to go into a nursery completely dressed as Peppa Pig. Went to five years for that. Went in for five years. I still don't know who that bastard was, but yeah. So, let's just say it's quite cold and dramatic. Back to you. Why is he getting paid for this show? Wait, what does he get paid with? Dust power from the Guinness of London? Next up, a new addition to the show. It's called Stupid Florida Man of the Week, where I improvise pretty much... The stupidest man of the week. Alright, let's check him out. Okay, so for the first edition, I I can't believe this is even a news article, but for the first version, we have got this man, Florida man accused of setting his own truck on fire to give deputies something to do. This was in December 29th of 2020, so to be fair, it's not stupid man of the week, just the stupid man of Florida man that I found that week. Suspect says he wanted to give himself an early Christmas present by setting fire to his own truck. I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how this guy's brain cells came around when he was doing that. What do you think was going on through his head when that was happening? Do you think like he was... I don't know. Like, was he... Did he... You know what? I can't even think of anything. I honestly God, don't know what the, was going through this guy's mind, honestly. Oh my God. He was placed in handcuffs when deputies searched him. They said they found a glass pipe used to smoke meth. Okay, well, I think we figured out his motive. He was batshit crazy. And the folded up dollar bill with traces of meth in his wallet. When questioned, Murphy said he wanted to do something for the sheriff's office to do, and he wanted to give himself an early Christmas present. So he set his truck on fire. I have... Ran out of words. I've ran out of words. Well, let's just move on before I think I lose a bit more of my sanity. Um, let's just get back to the script. Moving on because that was just a, a that was just a terrible shit show. Anyway, moving on. This week we're gonna get two weather se uh, man segments because we don't have any recurring characters. So um, here you go. Here this time, however, he's actually going to be in the studio giving you five things that you should know about Yorkshire. This one's a doozy. <laughs> Oh. What the fuck is this? What is this? What a shit laptop. Hello again, taking over the airways one more time to give you five facts about the Yorkshire that you should know. Why have I got a teleprompter? I don't need, uh, actually I do need a teleprompter. Why the fuck do we have a teleprompter? What's the point now? What is this? This is not a TV show, this is just a TV shit. Number one, Bradford is the Yorkshire of Blackpool. By that I mean shit city, shit people, and even worse football club. Of course, second would be Bridlington if, if I didn't love the place so much. Number two, the only seaside destinations you should be going to is Scarborough and Bridlington. Because my god, the rest are just downright boring. They do not have a CEX. If you do not have a CEX where you live, I feel so bad for you because that means you can't say the words, I have sex near where I live. And it's just... Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Number three, which ties actually quite well into my last fact, do not ever ever go to fire. Even if you are held by gunpoint by a banana with a monkey. Number four, don't try to understand our dialect. Just, just don't. It's really not worth it. It's like trying to understand the motive of pigeons. 
Basically a lot of turd mixed together to ruin your day. Well, it's been, it's my day has been ruined now. Thank you very much. God, who the fuck wrote this? Jimmy Savile. Finally, number five, or most important of all, if you want to live, do not look a roadman in the eyes. Ever. 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 Not by accident. Not from a car. Not even if you're giving off the fuck me eyes. Never, ever, 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 ever look a roadman in the eyes. Just, you just die. You get... <laughs> um, I guess that's it for me. Um... Okay, so leave you back to the retard or the Virgin Mary. Yeah. Virgin Mary works quite well. Back to you, Virgin Mary. Thank you, Weatherman. Now, as your wife, dude, don't fucking push me. Is that what she said? Yeah. I, I wanted to try a new position in the bedroom. It's called the Eiffel Tower. I, I thought it was like something really cute and romantic, but apparently. It, it, it's not. I haven't slept in our bed for two fucking weeks. Honest to God. I think she's been a little bit over the top of it. Just a little bit. But... Yeah. Oh well. Okay, too much information. Shouldn't have asked. Anyway, moving on swiftly to a skit that I made in the snow last week when I was filming my Weatherman segment. I also filmed something else. Check it out. I thought it was quite funny. Hello. This to me is meant to represent global warming. This is the entire existence of our planet and why it exists. It does look like a penis, but we'll just show them here, so don't mind that. And this is personally what I believe our leaders of the world are doing to, to global warming. They're destroying it, is basically what I'm, I'm saying. Thank you for listening. This just feels really tight. <laughs> and finally, the last thing I want to talk about today is not anything to do with Joe's. So there's going to be no mocking in this. It's a video that I found a couple of weeks ago that I was meant to put in last week's, but I thought it was a bit too early, seeing as it wasn't Christmas month. Um, and it's basically a video from Norway of... Um, oh, hang on, actually. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's an advert from Norway which depicts the love of Santa and his gay love partner. It is, honest to God, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Check it out. Jeg fikk takk litt assistanse i år, så jeg kan være sammen med deg. been the internet hangout show i've been survivor i'll see you all in a bit peace out